This is really interesting as well. We'll have a couple of clips from him. Mike Lombardi, Michael Lombardi, former um, front office executive with the Browns, a couple other teams, talking about the matchup with Lamar and the Ravens offense. This is from the Bill Simmons podcast. Lamar will be the first real test, but right. I'm looking at that game and I'm going, well, Baltimore's as banged up on their offensive line as anybody. And yeah. they have the speed to stay with Lamar, especially if he tries to move around the pocket. Like, to me, this feels like a terrible matchup for Baltimore. You agree? It, it, I agree completely, if, especially if Lindstrom and Stanley are still out. And, you know, you got Schwartz is going to attack. The one thing Schwartz is always very good at doing is attacking the protection. So not only does he know how to get the matchups, he knows how to attack the protections on third down. Then it becomes a really complicated game and he gets free runners. Yeah, this will be a hard one. And now Stanley and Linderbaum are supposed to be back. Stanley and Linderbaum, the two offensive linemen, have practiced. But it's not a great matchup uh, for the Ravens. What do you think, Brown's defense uh, against Lamar Jackson? It should be interesting because physically this team athletically is one of one teams that can't match up well with them, um, especially with all the things that they like to do in a run game. We've seen that in past years with Greg Roman. I think another thing that's going to be worth noting here is that it's no longer Greg Roman, right? So the, compli the, the offense is not as complicated. It's not as hard to predict as it used to be with all that, like, pistol run formation, basically, like, it's close to the triple options you can run in the NFL. They were running uh, – and then you also look at the fact that we know what them top market protections used to look like in Cleveland, and they weren't the most protective protections, right? We used to just leave guys on islands, maybe a chip here or there, but it wasn't a lot. That was one of the big changes with Kevin Stefanski. We were like, wow, the offensive line is so much better than in 2019 because of our willingness to help with protections. Todd Mocken does not have that same ideal. Um, so is that going to be a problem for the Baltimore Ravens, right? Are they going to keep those extra guys in the box? Because that's something that Todd has not really done consistently throughout his career.